Hello, this is Aaron with Grocery Shop for Free at the Mart.com and Grocery Shop for Free at Target.com. Decided to take a little break from cleaning and packing and all the other stuff that we're trying to get done around the house, working on the car. My goodness, a lot of things still need to be done. To uh, do today's daily coupon vodcast for you. Today we're going to cover um, an issue that, that's, that's very important to me. I have a lot of family members in the military. And if you are new to couponing uh, or you've been doing it for a while and just hadn't heard about this yet, there is a way that you as a couponer can help uh, support military families and, and uh, help them help military families save money on their, uh, on their food budget just like you do. Uh, and what it is is uh, on base, military families can use expired coupons up to six months after they expire. So after your coupons expire, if you will collect them and send them, uh, send them to the military, they will get them to military families, and uh, and uh, these military families are, are able to use the coupons uh, for for food for their family, and it's it's a, it's an important thing. You can't use them after they're expired anyway, so you might as well send them to the military, and, and uh, somebody can get use out of them. All right, there's a few things that you need to know about the program. Um, first off, you need to make sure that you're sending only manufacturer coupons. Don't send uh, store or restaurant coupons um, because they can't use them. Uh, I did have a question about printable coupons, and yes, I checked, and it uh, looks like printable manufacturer coupons can be sent in, and the military families can use them. So even your even your printable ones, go ahead and, and uh, send those out. Uh, coupons need to be clipped and sorted into two stacks, and this is very important. These two separate stacks are food and non-food. So, um, if it's food for, uh, you know, if it's food for, uh, if it's food, it goes in one pile. If it's non-food, it goes in another. And what you're looking for, um, you you want to keep them separate, and usually. Um, you don't have to send them in separate envelopes. They can go in the same envelope, and usually a paper clip or a rubber band is not going to be good enough. So what you want to do is you want to put them in plastic bags, something that's going to keep those two piles separately. Because uh, the way food works on the on the military, or the way shopping works in the military, they've got two different places that they can shop. They've got the commissary, which is food, and then the PX, or sometimes you'll hear it called the BX. Um, that's where it's like a department store, it's where non-food items go. So they need to be separated into food and non-food. And basically, um, if it's something that's eaten by human beings, it's, you know, to provide calories, is kind of the way I've had it explained to me, it goes into food. So for, for example, if you have dog or cat food or any kind of pet product, that goes in non-food. Uh, Insure, SlimFast, uh, you know, baby food coupons, those kind of things, those go in food. Uh, vitamins would be non-food. Chewing gums, mints, uh, food. So, so you you know just separate them out into food and non-food, and uh, send them into the military. And I'm not going to give you the address here in the uh, in the video. I'm going to put it in the notes below because there's actually two different addresses that you send that you can send them to. One for if you're west of the Mississippi, one for if you're east of the Mississippi. So I'll give you both of those below. Uh, a couple other things you need to know: uh, don't send in coupons that are over 30 days expired. Uh, I realize that they can use them up to six, you know, up to six months after they expire. But if you send it in 30 or you know 45 days after they've expired, they're probably not going to to get in their hands fast enough for them to be able to use it. So send them in, uh, you know, after 30 days. And usually what I'll do is, you know, I've got my coupon little coupon binder I've shown you in a previous uh, in a previous uh, 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 video. And if I look through and I find a set of coupons that is expired, I've got a little, I've got a little space in my binder that they go in. And then at the end of the month, I grab them, throw them in an envelope, and, and ship them out. And it's very easy to do. Cost you a 44 cent stamp, and uh, you know it's it's no big deal at all. So uh, again, make sure you have the coupons separated. Label the bundles. Label one non-food. Label one food. Uh, and make sure that uh, that those are separate so they can just pull them out as they go. Um, and send any coupons that you have. There's no minimum donation. You don't have to worry about sending in 100 coupons or anything like that. Uh, just a few a month. But make sure that you do it once a month. You know, for us, it's a it's an end of the month thing. You know, first of the month rolls around, we pull our expired coupons and we get them we get them sent out. Uh, it's it's uh, you know you're not gonna you're just gonna throw those coupons away anyway. Uh, and this way, you get to help our military and help those military families save money. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm going to give you the address in the notes below. I'm not going to do it here because you'd just be reading them off and you don't want that. But if I put it in the notes, you can copy and paste. 
and get them where they need to go. But please support our military, support the troops, and uh, and uh, help them save money. Uh, again, this is Aaron Farmer. This is your daily coupon podcast, and this is Gross Shuffer Free at TheMart.com or Gross Shuffer Free at Target.com. You have a good day. Bye bye.